Hello, people of God. I'm going to start this video by giving you the gospel of salvation located at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4 through from the 1537 Matthew's Holy Bible. Brethren, as pertaining to the gospel which I preached unto you, which ye have also accepted, and in the which ye continue, by the which also ye are saved, I do you to wit, after what manner I preached unto you, if ye keep it, except ye have believed in vain. But first of all I delivered unto you that which I received, how that Christ died for our sins, agreeing to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Romans chapter 10, portion of this chapter. This word is the word of faith which we preach. For thou shalt knowledge with thy mouth that Jesus is the Lord, and shalt believe with thine heart that God raised him up from death. Thou shalt be safe. For the belief of the heart justifieth, and to knowledge with the mouth maketh a man safe. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. There is no difference between the Jew and the Gentile. For one is Lord over all, which is rich unto all that call on him. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be safe. And Romans, portion of chapter 3. There is no difference, for all have sinned and lack the praise that is of valor before God, but are justified freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath made a seed of mercy through faith in his blood, to show the righteousness which before him is of valor, in that he forgiveth the sins that are past, which God did suffer to show at this time, the righteousness that is allowed of him, that he might be counted just, and the justifier of him which believeth on Jesus. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the glad tidings to all creatures. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. I'm going to talk about the harpazo that some people call the rapture, when we get caught up, and Jesus Christ comes to resurrect the dead, and catch us up into the clouds to be with him forever. Start off with this verse though for now. Ecclesiasticus, or also called Sirach, a portion of chapter 3, the children of wisdom are a congregation of the righteous, and their exercise is obedience and love. Philippians 1, 27-30 Only let your conversation be, as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you, or else be absent, I may yet hear of you, that ye continue in one spirit, and in one soul, laboring as we do, to maintain the faith of the gospel, and in nothing fearing your adversaries, which is to them a token of perdition, and to you of salvation, and that of God. For unto you it is given, that not only ye should believe on Christ, but also suffer for his sake, and have even the same fight which ye saw me have, and now hear of me. And now to First Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 18, from 1537 Matthew's Holy Bible, William Tyndale's New Testament translation. I would not, brethren, have you ignorant concerning them which are fallen asleep, that ye sorrow not, as other do, which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep by Jesus will God bring again with him. And this say we unto you in the word of the Lord, that we which live and are remaining in the coming of the Lord shall not come ere they which sleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and the voice of the archangel, and the trump, and trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall arise first. Then shall we which live and remain be caught up with them also in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort yourselves one another with these words. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 58. This say I, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit uncorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, and that in a moment, and in the twinkling of an eye, at the sound of the last trump. For the trump shall blow, and the dead shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptibility, and this mortal must put on immortality. When this corruptible hath put on incorruptibility, and this mortal hath put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is consumed into victory. Death, where is thy sting? Hell, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be unto God, which hath given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brethren, be ye steadfast and unmovable, always rich in the works of the Lord, for as much as ye know how that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 to 13. And write unto the tidings bringer of the congregation of Philadelphia, This saith he that is holy and true, which hath the key of David, which openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my sayings, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I make them of the congregation of Satan, which call themselves Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them that they shall come, and worship before thy feet, and shall know that I love thee. 
Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, therefore I will keep thee from the hour of temptation which will come upon all the world to tempt them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come shortly. Hold that which thou hast, that no man take away thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Let him that hath ears hear what the Spirit saith unto the congregations. In the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 through 12. This is the Old Testament translation by Miles Coverdale. Moreover, the Lord of hosts shall once prepare a feast for all people upon the hill, a plenteous, costly, pleasant feast, of fat and well-fed beasts, of sweet and most pure things. Upon this hill shall he take away the side veil that hangeth before the face of all people, and the covering wherewith all Gentiles are covered. As for death, he shall utterly consume it. The Lord God shall wipe away the tears from all faces, and take away the confusion of his people through the whole world. For the Lord himself hath said it. At the same time shall it be said, Lo, this is our God in whom we have put our trust. Lo, this is our God in whom we put our trust, and he hath healed us. This is the Lord that we have waited for. Let us rejoice and delight in his health, for the hand of the Lord ceaseth upon this hill. But Moab shall be threshen down under him, like as straw is trodden under feet in a donkey. For he shall stretch out his hands upon him, like as a swimmer doth to swim. And the power of his hands, and with the power of his hands shall he cast down his high pomp. As for his strongholds and high walls, he shall bow them, cast them down, and fell them to the ground, into dust. Isaiah chapter 26, verses 12 to 21. But unto us, O Lord, provide for peace, for thou workest in us all our works. O Lord our God, though such lords have domination upon us as know not thee, yet grant that we may have yet grant that we may hope only in thee, and keep thy name in remembrance. The malicious tyrants, when they die, are neither in life nor in the resurrection. For thou visitest them, and rootest them out, and destroyest all the memorial of them. Again, thou increasest the people, O Lord, thou increasest the people. Thou shalt be praised and magnified in all the ends of the world. The people that seek unto thee in trouble, that same adversity which they complain of, is unto them a chastening before thee. Like as a wife with child, when her travail cometh upon her, is ashamed, crieth, and suffereth a pain. Even so are we, O Lord, in thy sight. We are with child, we travail and bear, and with the spirit we bring forth health, wherethrough the earth is undestroyed, and the inhabitants of the world perish not. But as for thy dead men and ours that be departed, they are in life and resurrection. They lie in the earth, they wake and have joy. For thy dew is a dew of life and light, but the place of the malicious tyrant is fallen away. So go now, my people, into thy chamber, and shut the door to thee, and suffer the now the twinkling of an eye, till the wrath be overpassed. For behold, the Lord will go out of his habitation, and visit the wickedness of them that dwell upon earth. He will discover the blood that she hath devoured. She shall never hide them that she hath, mur that she hath murdered. Luke 21, 36. Watch therefore and continually, and pray that ye may obtain grace to flee all this that shall come, and that ye may stand before the Son of Man. Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. The time will come also that the great prince, Michael, which standeth on thy people's side, shall arise up, for there shall come a time of trouble, such as never was, since there began to be any people, unto that same time. Then shall thy people be delivered, yea, all those that be found written in the book. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to the everlasting life, some to perpetual shame and reproof. The wise, such as have taught other, shall glister as the shining of heaven, and those that have instructed the multitude unto godliness shall be as the stars, world without end. And thou, O Daniel, shut up these words and seal the book till the last time. Many shall go about here and there, and then, not, and then shall knowledge increase. The Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and the pain of death shall not touch them. In the sight of the unwise they appear to die, and their end is taken for very destruction. The way of the righteous is judged to be utter destruction, but they are in rest. And though they suffer pain before men, yet is their hope full of immortality. They are punished but in few things. Nevertheless, in many things shall they be well rewarded. For God proveth them, and findeth them meet, M-E-T-E, -E, for himself. Yea, as the gold in the furnace doth he try them, and receiveth them as a burnt offering. And when the time cometh, they shall be looked upon. The righteous shall shine as the sparks that run through the red bush. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. 
They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful will agree unto him in love. For his chosen shall have gifts and peace, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. For they have despised the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Matthew chapter 13, verses 43. Then shall the just men shine, as bright as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whosoever hath ears to hear, let him hear. The book of Wisdom, chapter 5, verses 15 to 16. But the righteous shall live forevermore, and their reward also is with the Lord, and their remembrance with the highest. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom, and a beautiful crown of the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his own arm shall he defend them. Fourth Estrus, or 16 Latin King James Holy Bible, is called Sacan Estrus. Chapter 2, verses 27 to 48. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and plenteous. The heathen shall be jealous, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see the fire everlasting. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy dead children, for I shall bring them out of the earth, and show mercy unto them, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come, and show mercy unto them, for my wiles run over, and my grace shall not fail. I, Estrus, received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto Israel, they set me at naught, and despised the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen that hear and understand, look for your shepherd, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to the, re be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Saviour openly. O oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. Arise up and stand fast. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world, and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Sion, and shut up thy purified which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of children, the number of children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that, the, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I Esther saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs of thanksgiving. And in the midst of them there was a young man of an high stature, more excellent than all they. And upon every one of their heads he set a crown, and was ever higher and higher, which I marvelled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said. Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have testified and knowledge the name of God. Now are they crowned and receive the reward. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them the palms in their hands? And so he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, whom they have knowledge in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And so the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people, what manner of things, and how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen. Ecclesiasticus, a portion of chapter 24. All these things are the book of life, the covenant of the highest, and the knowledge of the truth. Moses commanded the law and the precepts of righteousness for an heritage unto the house of Jacob, and committed the promises unto Israel. Out of David his seed, out of David his servant, he ordained to raise up a most mighty king, sitting in the seat of honor forevermore. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 Examine all things, and keep that which is good. The Book of Enoch, the translation by Robert Henry Charles, chapter 50, verses 1-5 to And in those days a change shall take place for the holy and elect, and the light of day shall abide on, upon them, and glory and honor shall turn to the holy, on the day of affliction, on which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners. And the righteous shall be victorious in the name of the Lord of spirits. And he will cause the others to witness this, that they may repent and forego the works of their hands. They shall have no honor through the name of the Lord of spirits, yet through his name shall they be saved. And the Lord of spirits will have compassion on them, for his compassion is great. And he is righteous also in his judgment. And in the presence of his glory, unrighteousness also shall not maintain itself. At his judgment, the unrepentant shall perish before him. And from henceforth I will have no mercy on them, saith the Lord of spirits. Enoch chapter 51, verses 1 through 5. And in those days shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it, and Sheol also shall give back that which it has received, and hell shall give, give back, and hell shall give back that which it owes. For in those days the whole, for in those days the elect one shall arise, and he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them. 
for the day has drawn nigh, that they should be saved. And the elect one shall in those days sit on my throne, and his mouth shall pour forth all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. For the Lord of spirits hath given them to him, and hath glorified him. And in those days shall the mountains leap like rams, and the hills also shall leap, and the hills also shall skip like lambs, satisfied with milk. And the faces of all the angels in heaven shall be lighted up with joy, and the earth shall rejoice, and the righteous shall dwell upon it, and, and the elect shall walk thereon. I'm going to go to Enoch chapter 94, verses 1 through 5. Enoch 94, 1 through 5. And now I say unto you, my sons, love righteousness and walk therein, for the paths of righteousness are worthy of acceptation, but the paths of unrighteousness shall suddenly be destroyed and vanish. And to certain men of a generation shall the paths of violence and of death be revealed, and they shall hold themselves afar from them, and shall not follow them. And now I say unto you, the righteous, walk not in the paths of wickedness, nor on the paths of death, and draw not nigh to them, lest ye be destroyed. But seek and choose for yourself righteous, but seek and choose for yourselves righteousness and an elect life, and walk in the paths of peace, and ye shall live and prosper, and hold fast my words in the thoughts of your hearts, and suffer them not to be effaced from your hearts. For know that sinners will attempt men, for know that sinners will tempt men to evil and treat wisdom, so that no place may be found for her, and no manner of temptation may minish. I'm going to read a few verses here from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 44, verse 16. Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 44, verse 16. Almost there. But Enoch walked right and acceptably before the Lord. Therefore was he translated for an example of amendment to the generations. And Enoch, I mean Ecclesiasticus 49, verse 14. But upon earth is there no man created like Enoch, for he was taken up from the earth. And Baruch 5, the prophecy of Baruch, chapter 5, verses 1 through 9. The title here says, Jerusalem is moved unto gladness for the return of her people under the figure thereof the church. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. For lo, thy sons whom thou hast forsaken, and that were scattered abroad, come gathered together from the east and west, rejoicing in the word of the Holy One, unto the honor of God. Put off thy mourning clothes, O Jerusalem, and thy sorrow, and deck thee with the, glad and the, and deck thee with the worship and honor that cometh unto thee from God, with everlasting glory. God shall put the cloak of righteousness upon thee, and set a crown of everlasting worship upon thine head. For upon thee will God declare his brightness that is under the heaven. Yea, an everlasting name shall be given thee of God, with peace of righteousness, and the honor of God's fear. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand upon high. Look about thee toward the east, and behold the children gathered. And behold thy children gathered from the east unto the west, which rejoice in the holy word, having God in remembrance. They departed from thee on foot, and were led away of their enemies. But now shall the Lord bring them carried with honor, as children of the kingdom. For God is purposed to bring down all stout mountains. Yea, and all high rocks, to fill the valleys, and so to make them even with the ground, that Israel may be diligent to live unto the honor of God. The woods and all pleasant trees shall overshadow Israel at the commandment of God. For hither shall God bring Israel with joyful mirth, and in the light of his majesty, with the mercy and righteousness that cometh of himself. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. Moreover, I saw under the sun ungodliness instead of judgment, and iniquity instead of righteousness. Then thought I in my mind, God shall separate the righteous from the ungodly. And then shall the time, and then shall be the time of an judgment of all counsels and works. And Zephaniah 2, 1-3. through three. Come, gather together. Come and gather together, O froward people, or the thing go forth that is concluded, or the time be passed away as the dust, or the fearful wrath of the Lord come upon you. Yea, or the day of the Lord's sore displeasure come upon you. Seek the Lord, all ye meek-hearted upon earth. Ye that work after his judgment, seek righteousness, seek lowliness, that ye may be defended in the wrathful day of the Lord. And some other scriptures you can read for your own study. is Job chapter 14, verses 12 through 15. Job chapter 19, verses 23 to 29. And I'll finish off this video with Proverbs 21, 31. From the authorized King James Holy Bible. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. The Lord be praised forever and ever. God bless you, brethren. Stand steadfast. Avoid the deception of the enemy. Use discernment and wisdom. Look to Jesus for the answers. What would Jesus Christ do? Jesus is the Lord, and Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Jesus is the Son of God. See you in the clouds, brethren.